The sight of an eagle swooping down to carry a young boy away left his grandparents in a state of shock and terror. However, the surprising reason behind the bird's behavior will astonish you. Lean lineage could be traced back to the stunning mountainous area of Northern America. For generations, his ancestors had inhabited the region's green meadows, towering cliffs, and mighty mountains. Having been born and raised there, Leon had spent many years farming and herding animals in the region. At the moment, his son was married and eagerly anticipating the arrival of his first child, which would make Leon a grandfather for the first time. He shared in his son's excitement and looked forward to welcoming the new addition to their family. Leon hoped that his grandchild would follow in the footsteps of their ancestors and embrace the lifestyle of living and working in the area. As he tended to his sheep, he envisioned introducing his grandchild to the flock and showcasing the breathtaking vistas the region had to offer. The little one was sure to delight in petting and playing with the fluffy sheep. But Leon had been lost in his own world for quite some time, and night was beginning to fall, so he began to start herding the sheep back towards the safety of their pen. After all, wolves lived in the mountains and could easily kill and eat a poor sheep. Calling in the help of his son and his trusty dog, the trio herded and directed the sheep in the direction that they needed to go. It was important that they rounded up every single one of them as they relied on these sheep to help bring in an income. This was more important now than ever, what with the baby on the way. But one day Leon wanted to try something a little different. His days were often very repetitive, and he did the same things day after day after day. Even his meals were the same, but one. Leon had a taste for hair. He had used to eat the small rabbit-like animal in his younger days, but had not had it in recent years. So getting up early one morning, he loaded up his equipment and set off in search of the hares and rabbits that lived in the foothills of the mountains. Catching one of those to cook would be a delightful treat and a welcome change from the norm. The trek to the foothills would take around half an hour, so it was important that he got there and back before mid-morning in order to tend to his sheep for the rest of the day. The sun was barely up, but the air was already becoming warm. It would be another fine and beautiful day to be sure, but as he tracked along, Leon heard a strange and unusual sound coming from the foot of a cliff. It was a sound that he couldn't quite pinpoint, but something drove him in that direction. Walking towards the base of the cliff, Leon's eyes went wide at what he saw. It was a beautiful, large, majestic eagle, but something was. It was crying out in pain. It seemed as if it had damaged its wing. Upon seeing Leon, the eagle tried to flat and fly, but it never made it off the ground. Leon wondered if it had damaged its wing while fighting animals. He guessed he would never know, but what he didn't know was that he had to help the poor bird. Taking his jacket off, Leon gently wrapped it around the eagle. It no longer struggled, but it just looked at him, as if pleading to the man for his help. Setting off back in the direction of his home, Leon carried the eagle all the way. He was surprised how heavy and giant these birds were. They didn't look so big when they were swooping and soaring all the way up there in the sky. Arriving back at the house, Leon instructed his son to take the sheep out to the fields. He then carried the eagle to a room in his house where he started to clean the wounded wing, treating it with medicine gauze and bandages. He even brought the eel some meat for it to eat and hopefully keep its strength up. Once his work was done and he was satisfied with the eagle's wing, he created it a perch to sit on and brought it extra food and water for it to enjoy while it was recovering. Leon did not want to keep the eagle permanently. He just wanted to be sure that it was okay and well enough to be released back into the wild. The eagle seemed to understand this and was very appreciative of the man's efforts. But one day the time finally came that the eagle was fully healed and would be able to be released. So Leon and his family all gathered outside to watch the beautiful bird, majestic take off into the air and fly away back towards the mountains that it had once come from. But that wasn't the last that Leon saw of the eagle. It would come and visit the house every few days and even come and sit in the field next to Leon as he watched over his sheep. It was an unlikely friendship that came out of a kind and simple act. Ten months later and Leon finally had a grandchild slash, a little boy named Tony. He was born in the family house and was a strong and beautiful young child. One of the most amazing things about the day of the birth was the eagle was there to meet the little baby. 
It looked inquisitively at the child, as Leon held it before squawking and flying away, circling happily in the air. Not long after the birth of Tony, the family had a big party gathering to celebrate the new arrival. Not only was all of Leon's family there, but extended family had made the journey to come and meet this new fine addition to their plan. They had brought food and gifts and everyone was having a fantastic time. Chatting, eating, drinking, and most importantly, cooing. Over the beautiful little baby boy that sat in a cot in the middle of the room. Going outside to take in a little bit of fresh air, Leon heard a familiar as fork. He knew immediately that it was the eagle he had saved. Looking around, he saw it swooping in and it landed only several feet from him. It was acting a little strange though, making a strange chirping noise and flapping its giant wings every so often. Frowning, Leon wondered if he wanted to see the baby, so he went inside to get Tony. As soon as he returned outside though, the eagle flapped and took off into the air. But as he did so, he grabbed Tony by his tiny shoulders and flew away with him. Leon was shocked, and he stood there frozen to the spot. What was the evil doing? Why had it done such a thing? Snapping back to his senses, Leon ran into the house shouting that the evil had taken the baby. Everyone ran outside without a second thought and started to chase after the eagle who was flying a short distance away. People were terrified that the eagle would drop the child. If that happened, the results would be disastrous. But after only a minute of the entire family chasing after the bird, there was an almighty rumble behind them. Turning, they looked back in the direction of the house that they had all just been in. Before their eyes were drawn up to the cliff that towered over it, an avalanche had started and several massive boulders started to crash down the cliff. A few of those boulders smashed into the house, crashing it as if it were made of nothing more than paper. The entire family watched on, speechless, and that's when the eagle returned with Tony gently lowering him onto the ground and hopping several feet back so he could be quickly retrieved by his mother and father. As everyone scurried around the baby, checking to ensure it was unharmed, Leon approached the eagle. Somehow, the bird had anticipated the landslide and taken action to rescue the child. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Leon struggled to convey his appreciation to the majestic creature. Maybe this was the eagle's way of reciprocating Leon's kindness, he may never be certain. However, what he did note was that the eagle had spared their lives and he would forever be indebted to it. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on this awe-inspiring and remarkable tale? How would you have responded if you had witnessed an eagle perform such an extraordinary and valiant act? The story is truly captivating. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.